Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be discussing about blob service. So let's get into the video. Let's try to understand the blob service. And in the blob service, we have the first service as block blob. And this block blob service will be used to keep unstructured data. Okay. We will understand this by an example. All it is, we will we'll try to understand this by an example. Now see, the example that I am going to take here is a website. So I think at any point of in any point of uh, time in our life, we would have filled some online application form, right? Let's say this is application form website. In this application form, you will give the name, you will give details like address, you will give details like lot of details you will give, right? But there will be a field called as attachment where you need to provide some necessary documents right now here let's say it is it is giving you an option to let's say it's giving an option to browse right once you'll click and browse a file and you will you are trying to attach but it is saying that the maximum the maximum size of the file should be 2 mb you cannot exceed than this have you guys encountered such such scenarios while filling up a form? Yes. Right. I think everyone would have faced this problem. Right. Now, what is happening? Why it is saying that two MB is the maximum size? Why cannot it is exceeding than two MB? There are a lot of plannings that are um, uh, that are connected to this, that 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 particular size. I, I would like you guys to try to understand the scenario, what, I, what I'm just trying to discuss here. Let's say some government opening, some, some, some government position got open and there you have to apply for application form. Huge number of candidates will start filling up these forms. When you will be attaching this document, when you will be attaching your document, it must be saved behind, behind the scene. It must be saved on some storage area, right? Now, if they are going to give unlimited size or if they are not, if they are not restricting the size of the document that you are uploading, you understand what is the, what could be the size of that data uh, that will be saved in, in the backend on that storage device and how much they will be paying. Hence, what they have done, they have restricted the size to 2 MB or uh, let's say 1 MB or, or some 512 KB, something like that. But in the backend, what is happening? Let's say you have selected one file right and you are trying to upload now that is where that is happening now we will try to understand this in terms of block blob how the data will be saved let's now let's not talk about that 2 mb size let's talk about that the file that you are uploading is 400 mb right and the size limit can be exceeded or can be uh, degraded or can be in, in, incremented or, dec uh, or or can be decreased by the developer of this application, developer of this website. Is it making sense to everyone what I'm saying, guys? The developer who has developed this website can increase the size of the file that can be uploaded against this application form. Right, guys? Yes, no, maybe guys. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, so, that makes sense. Now, now let's understand there is a 400 MB file. Okay. I am I have browsed it and now I have clicked on load, upload. In the back end, we are using Azure account. And in Azure account, we are using block serve block block in order to save the file, which is of 400 MB. 
now how it will look like in the back end when the data will get saved on azure block blob so as the term state block blob the object size will be it will look something like this like this blocks will get created all right now there will be size specific size of these blocks so i'm mentioning here 100 mb in just order to make things easier you can make it 2 mb also 2 mb also now depending upon the number of size and depending upon the size of the blocks that are available while 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 uploading the block while, while uploading the file this file will be breaked into that many number of blocks so if it is 2 mb so 400 mb divided by 2 mb so it will be somewhere around 200 small chunks will be created of this file and then will be sent to this particular block blob in order to upload the file now how it will be uploaded now i am not using 2 mb i am using 100 mb let's say i have so in, in this example for 400 mb we'll be using four block blobs making sense guys so we'll be using four block blobs 400 mb blocks this is again 100 mb now how the file will be uploaded and this is the this is the most important thing this is the most important one now this file has been divided into four chunks, one, two, three, four of 100 MB. Now, when the upload will happen to the block blob of, and, 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 and we can see that four block, four block blocks will be uploading. Now the upload will happen parallelly. So each block will parallelly to get uploaded in the specified blocks in the backend. So upload is happening parallelly. Upload will happen parallelly. So what exactly you will be able to reach when the upload is happening parallelly? Tell me guys. the time that it will take to upload this file will decrease right so you will you will you will you will have very less latency you will you will you will be able to see that it's taking very less time while you are trying to upload this file to the block blob is it making sense to everyone guys yes yes this is how the upload will happen in a block blob now each block will have its own id so ID one, first block will have ID one, second block will have ID two. There are specific IDs. There will be specific IDs for each one of them. ID three and ID four, like this, right? And all these IDs will be connected to a connected to a URL or URI, right? Now, if someone wants to access this file, then how they will access it? They will use the URL in order to access it. Now, when, you, they, when they will use this URL to access it, how it will, how, how is, how it will start doing this? So it will make, this is how it will make more sense, right? So first ID should get downloaded, then second, then third, then fourth, then only you'll be able to get the data in a sequence way, right? When you will perform the download operation, it will happen serially. Right? It will happen serially like this. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Is it clear to everyone? Guys? Yeah. Okay. So yes. the mo yeah, the most important things are these two points. Upload will happen parallelly. Download will happen serially. Now let's understand a little bit more aspect of this block blob. Now let's understand this. So the size 
of a block block and be any one of them i'm just mentioning the sizes so it can be 64 kb 128 kb uh 256 kb 1 mb 2 mb 4 mb uh, i think so uh, 100 mb yeah. 100 mb and um um uh, this is uh, okay sorry yeah 400 4000 mb is right now in preview as of now the maximum size of one block blob can be 100 mb and the minimum size can be 64 kb depending upon your use case you can decide all right 4000 mb is in preview it's it's still not in okay now a little bit more about this block blob. Maximum number of block blocks can be available in one object is fifty thousand. Maximum number of blocks that can be available in one object is fifty thousand. So the largest block blob block blob object can be fifty thousand into hundred MB, which is somewhere four point seven five TB. But when this four thousand review will come into HA then the maximum size of one block blob object can be mb and be somewhere around 195 plus minus tb clear to everyone guys when this will come into the picture this is not in the picture right now it's it's still in preview but yes this is something that azure is going to give it to us but as of now this is the largest size that is available one largest size of one block blob object can be 4.75 TV. And what is that object? I'm talking about this one object. So guys, if you also want to have a good job around Azure Cloud, then we have something really special for you. We have our absolutely free class on how to prepare for Azure Cloud jobs and certification. Under this interactive session, you'll be learning about top certification options in Azure Cloud, job opportunities, our eight week roadmap to learn, get certified and get higher paying jobs. So if you want to register for the same, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash az10402. You'll be seeing this kind of interface. Just click on book your free seats now. And after that, select event date, add your full name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes, save my seats now. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of link on the extreme right. You just have to click it, save it and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.